Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how to make a macro keyboard for just under $10. The macro keyboard will have 17 functional keys, an OLED display, two rotary encoders and does not require any tools or equipment. The macro keyboard might look like but don't let the looks fool you, it works perfectly. So before I go through the whole process on how I made this macro keyboard, I just want to do a quick demonstration first that you can see how awesome it is. Here we use a macro to skip to the next song, pause and play again and control the volume with rotary encoders. In this example we use a macro to open to an awesome YouTube channel which you should subscribe to. And if that is not convincing enough, here's a macro where I have a special text stored for you. This was just in the Windows mode, you can add your favorite software macros as needed. For example, here we have Blender, Windows, Premiere Pro, After Effects and Fusion 360. So you can just go add as much as you want to this macro keyboard. The first macro keyboard I did was this one here, that I converted an old broken keyboard into a macro keyboard and I made a custom PCB. So this means you will require a soldering iron. And then I made this budget friendly version. Now the budget friendly version was you didn't need mechanical keys and you had different switches. And this one had extra features like an OLED and two rotary encoders. But again, this one have a PCB, so you need a soldering iron. And we also 3D printed the case. So you're gonna need a 3D printer. So this new macro keyboard, you don't require any of those. So this one is truly the cheapest option available. I looked at macro keyboards on AliExpress. There's a wide range of macro keyboards available, but the prices can range from 12 to $30, depending on the number of keys. Now, seeing that these ones doesn't have an OLED display, it doesn't have router encoders, some of them do, but if we look at ours, that will have 17 keys and two rotary encoders, we can see we are way below the price of one on AliExpress. Now, the benefits of the AliExpress ones is it does look better and it does come with software you can use. You don't need to write your own code. But this software, like I have seen in previous videos, is a little bit janky. So it's a kind of difficult to use depending on which one you have bought. But a great thing about mine, it is all written in Circuit Python so you can truly make the macro anything you want it to be. So let's take a closer look at all the components you will need for your macro keyboard. We will use this 4x4 Make This Keypad, which will allow us to have 16 different inputs, but we will leave the D button to switch between different modes, and they sell for $0.55. We will need a microcontroller to access our brain. I wanted to get this Raspberry Pi Pico clone, which has an RGB LED, but then the header pins are not soldered on, so I got this one here with pins for $2.47. We will use an SSD1306 OLED display to show which mode we are in and display the macro that was pressed. They sell for $2.53. We need some wires which we can get one of these sets that comes in various sizes. We don't need too many of them, but now you have extra wires for future projects. The cheapest option is $1.37. We also need to order two rotary encoder modules, which will allow us to control multiple things like the volume or skip through the timeline in Adobe and so much more. And they sell for $0.45 each. We need a breadboard to connect everything together, which you can buy for $2.11. For the enclosure of the macro keyboard, you can use any old box. I've used this PCB box from a previous order. I would like to see what you come up with, so please share it with me in the Discord channel. Now that we have all the components, the only thing left to do now is build the circuit. Just follow this diagram here, and after you have finished following this diagram and building your circuit, you should have something that looks like this. The breadboard and keypad has a sticky layer, when peeling off the paper on the back, which I then cut a hole in the box to hide the wires and stick the breadboard and keypad on the box. A very important step now is to go set up your Raspberry Pi Pico with Circuit Python. I have done a video in the past about this, which you can go watch here. Now for the fun part of this project, and that is the coding. Now I know coding can be boring and can be very intimidating if it is the first time seeing this, but I'm gonna explain in short what is happening. Now, if you want a fully detailed explanation, I will be making a write-up on this. 
Hopefully that will help you. And if you still have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. The first thing you need to do is go download all the code for this project, which is available on my website. After downloading it and extracting the code, you can copy everything and paste it on the Raspberry Pi Pico, which should show up as a flash drive, which you can just overwrite everything if asked. Now to explain all this code would take a very long time, so we'll just look at the main parts in this section. There's a lot of files here. The first one here is a code.py. This is your main file that will boot up as soon as you start the Raspberry Pi Pico. Here we include all the libraries necessary and this one here is where we will import the different macros. Now remember I said I created five here but you can easily go create your own. If you want detail about that that will be on the website. And then here I just set up all the keys and here I set up the OLED display. I have done separate tutorials for all of these components if you want to go have a look. And then here at the bottom, this is where we will go and select the different modes. Now, if we go in one of the modes, let's say we go into Blender. Again, here we set up the screen to update every time you press a key or to show which macro has been pressed. And here we have the handle key press. Now here, you can go write your macros. You'll see there's a CC send or there's a keyboard send. All of these macro keys is fully documented in the HID library which I will also put a link down below. Now, if you're not a programmer and you find all of this very intimidating, hopefully my write-up will help you to guide you how to write your own macros and then how to go put it in here so you can go create your own custom macro for your application. So there is no GUI for this one. You're gonna have to go use a text editor like Fonny to go update the CircuitPython code. Maybe in the future we can look at making a GUI and if there's anyone that would like to help, please reach out to me because that at this moment is out of my scope. Now, I know a lot of you are not interested in this type of keyboard and you probably want to see a macro keyboard using mechanical switches. Well, I have some good news. In two weeks, my holiday will start and I am planning to make a fully detailed course, meaning then I will go through all the code from scratch and how to design a PCB and just all the steps in detail. So I think that video would probably be a hour or two long or maybe even longer. So if that is something you're interested in, come back in a few weeks and hopefully it would be done. If you are still watching the video, thank you for watching. And if you want more Raspberry Pi Pico related content, consider subscribing to the channel. I will see you in the next video.